Hi, I'm Tim, the Woodworking Maniac, and today I want to give you a quick little tip. I know a lot of people tend to uh, cover their tools or their workbench with paper or uh, cardboard or whatever they can to protect them whenever they're doing glue-ups. Uh, just basically, whenever you're doing a glue-up and you end up with squeeze out, the, the glue will drip on whatever it's going to drip on, and uh, it could end up getting on your tools or what have you. I tend to use these uh, silicone oven, I think they're baking sheets, to where you can actually bake uh, directly on them uh, for whatever. I, I'm, not, I'm not a chef or anything like that, but I ended up buying these uh, silicone baking sheets, and I use them all the time. And the reason I do that is because the glue does not stick to them. You can do a glue up, and the glue will fall onto these silicone sheets, which I need to order some larger ones because obviously these are a little small, but uh, they're super, super cheap. You can buy, like, I, I think I bought them in three packs like this for just a few bucks. And uh, you, they're, they're cheap. You can buy them really cheap. And the glue, glue dries on them, and the glue just peels right back off, as you can see right here. I mean, it does not end up staying on there. So you can reuse these time and time again and it's no big deal so just a quick tip silicone baking sheets if you just search them on Amazon or uh, you can probably even find them at the dollar store I don't know but I think I ended up ordering mine somewhere on the internet I probably ordered them on Amazon I don't know but silicone baking sheets they work great for glue ups they have a textured side I don't know if all of them do, but I don't use the textured side. I use kind of the glossy side all the time, and they work great. Perfect for glue-ups. Have a good day.